Good afternoon, mommy. Good afternoon, my son. This one you paid me a surprise visit today. I hope everything is okay. Everything is not okay, mommy. I'm not happy at all. Please have a seat. Let's talk about it. Thank you, ma. What is it? Is it about charity again? Yes, my daughter is giving me hell in their house. What did she do this time? She stole my money. The money I was supposed to pay in a meeting. Ah, why would she do that? Because I don't know how to be a thief. She asked me for money to start a business which I didn't have. And considering the fact that she has no respect for me, so I said no. Why does she keep doing this? Does she want to kill me before my time? No, mom. You are not dying. With this her report all the time, it seems she wants to give me high blood pressure. I decided to report her to you since she's your daughter. I don't have the habit of hitting a woman. If not, I would have given her the beating of her life. It's okay, my son. I have so much respect for you. That is why I decided to report to you first. Because if she steps on my toe next time, I will deal with her myself. It's okay. I will talk to her. She won't try it again. Okay then. I have to be on my way now. Can't be on your way without taking a little color from me. Don't worry ma. I left the office to see you. I have to hurry back. No, I insist. You rarely come here. So today that I have seen you, I have to offer you something. Okay mom. I'll be right back. My love, I hope you enjoyed your meal. You know, I always enjoy my meal. You are very good in cooking. Stop flattering me, Joe. I only asked if you enjoyed your meal. I am serious. I actually thought of you starting a catering business. What do you think? I don't want to think anything because I know it will not work. Don't be too negative. Although I don't have money now for a business, that doesn't mean I cannot save little by little to start something for you. But when I came up with the idea, you bluntly said you don't have money. That is because I don't know how long it will take to save the amount needed for the business. Okay, well, catering is a very nice idea. Have you forgotten that my mom was a caterer? How can I forget? Anytime I taste your delicious meal, I always remember you learned from the best. Yes, I learned from the best. So what's up? Did you go to the post office? Not really. I changed my mind. Why? Don't you want to work anymore? I don't want to work under anyone. Are you sure that is the reason? Because I stated this particular reason, but you still insisted. After all, I'm working for someone. Yours is different. That is advanced work. Really? Yes. I don't want to be anyone's errand girl. Okay, well, since you have changed your mind, no problem then. Okay. Hey, baby. So soon? Have you spoken to your aunt already? Not yet. I didn't come here because of that. Is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. A big problem. Jesus Christ. What is the problem? Don't panic. It's not that serious. You just said it is a big problem. What is it? My aunt is critically ill. I go back home to see her on the floor. Oh my God. What happened to her? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Didn't you take her to the hospital? I did. But the doctor requested for some amount of money to be paid so they can run a test on her. Why didn't you pay? She be I gave you 50,000 naira. Oh, that is the problem, John. I was robbed on my way back. Oh my God, what kind of problem is this? How did this happen? I don't know. I think the use charmed on me. Because I only realized I lost the money when I go home. How much did the doctor request for? 100,000 naira. A hundred thousand naira? Just to run a test on someone? Yes, now. You know how these modern hospitals are, especially the private hospitals. I'm not stupid, Priska. No matter how expensive the hospital is, they can never request a hundred thousand naira just to run a test on someone. So you're indirectly calling me a liar? I am not. Maybe you should go back and ask the doctor well. Hmm. The problem is... I don't have such amount of money. So what should I do now? I should let my aunt die? 
How will she die when we don't even know what the problem is? That is the problem. At least let me know when my aunt is suffering from. Hmm, it's okay. Let me see what I can do. I don't like the statement. I need the money as soon as possible. I will ask Destiny for it. Please do. Trivie, mommy. Charity, sit down. I don't have time for your greetings right now. I hope there is no problem. This one you're sounding this week. I am not happy with you. Charity, is this how I raised you? I don't understand what you're saying, mom. Your husband brought your complaint to me again. That is less, man. How dare he report me to you? What is he trying to prove? Shut up your mouth, Charity. How could you refer to your husband as useless? Don't you have respect? What he did is it good? How could he bring our marital problems to you? So he's supposed to die in silence, Abby? Is he not a man? Why can't he handle it like a man and put his home together? How will he put his home together when you are ready to scatter it? What exactly is wrong with you, Charity? You don't even know what the problem is yet you've already touched. You are my daughter, but I will never support you when you're wrong. You don't know what that man is passing through. Stop abusing him. I'm not abusing him, mom. I've never hit him before. Oh, so you think abuse is only when you hit someone? Your husband is passing through emotional abuse. You don't know my husband more than me. That man is wicked. Could you imagine I asked him for a little money to start a business, but he blandly refused. Was that why you stole his money? I didn't steal his money, I took it. You are a disgrace, Charity. You better fix your home before it is too late. Sweetheart, why are you back so early? Baby, there is a little problem and I need your understanding on it. What is the problem? Have you lost your job? Of course not. Why would such a thing come into your mind? Because that is the only reason why you would come home very early from work during working hours. Well, I am not sacked, but I have three days business trip. Business trip again? I thought you went on a business trip six months ago. Baby, I am sorry. It is not my fault. I tried persuading my boss to take someone else, but he insisted on taking me. I am not happy about this news at all. You know how much I always want to have you here. I know, but I have to work. I have to fend for this family. How many days did you say you are going? Just three days and I will be back for you. Can't I come with you, at least to keep you company? No, honey. If I had my way, I would take you with me. But this is business. I don't have to miss it with pleasure. Hmm. It's okay. So when are you leaving? Very early tomorrow morning. I will miss you so much. I will miss you too. Don't worry, I am not going for very long. Promise me you won't do anything stupid over there. Baby, that has been my vow since we got married. I will stay faithful to you for as long as I live. Okay. Let's go and arrange your bags. Okay. Hey, boo. Thank you for coming. Please have a seat. Why are you being so formal like I am a visitor? You are my visitor, of course. So I have to treat you well. I am not your visitor, John. I will introduce you to my parents soon, so we can take our relationship to the next level. Well, that is not the reason why I called you here. You said there is trouble. What is the problem? Baby, I need your help, please. My younger sister was not allowed to write her exams. She was kicked out of school. Why now? Why would they do such a thing? She didn't pay her school fees and her examination fees. Why not call your parents and report to them? My dad doesn't have money at the moment. That is why I am worried. Hey, yeah. It is a pity. Then use the 50,000 I give to you now. That is the problem. I have already used it. I used it to invest in something that would bring more money. Hmm. So, how much do you want? A hundred thousand naira. Hundred what? Just for school fees? Yes, now. Nah. Some schools are like that. This is a modern age. That is too much now. Then your dad should take her to a school she will be able to pay for. Oh, hope you are not making an attempt to insult my father. Not at all. I am just concerned. You know I won't be the one to pay for her all the time. 
Why are you sounding as if you are the one that has been paying her school fees all along? I am sorry. I don't mean to offend you. The money is not the problem. I will bring it to you this evening. I am just concerned about your family. Don't be concerned. Do your part and leave the rest to us. It's okay, my love. I will get the money for you. Thank you. You know I will do anything for you. I know, but you got me pissed off at first. I am sorry. I didn't mean to. It's okay. I am not angry anymore.